As a cost planner, you're probably interested in the contribution of a certain component uh, to uh, the total cost for a group of components uh, to see what is the most expensive item in that group of components. In cost planner, there's uh, two columns that help you understand uh, which component or which components those are, uh, and that's the uh, cost per unit of the parent assembly and the cost as a percentage of the total cost for the assembly. And in this video, I will explain how you use these two columns to analyze the contribution of components uh, to the, the total price of your project. In this video, I will use the column chooser to activate two columns that help you understand the share of the cost of a higher level assembly that is coming from each of the components by looking at the cost per parent assembly quantity and the percentage of the parent assembly's cost. To be able to analyze the uh, cost division of uh, an assembly in the, in the project, I will first activate the two columns that let me do that. So I right click and open the column chooser and I select from the column chooser the cost per parent assembly unit and the percentage of parent assembly cost. Then click OK and I have these two uh, columns added to my project. So what I can see now, and I will drag this one over right next to the unit cost, <coughs> is uh, for each of the assemblies uh, the uh, cost per unit of the parent unit. So in this case the pile cap has been uh, calculated in cubic yards and the layout concrete uh, cost item or cost assembly is now shown in uh, unit cost per linear foot which is how the cost of this particular line item is calculated but also uh, as cost per cubic yard of the parent assembly so that results in $14.40 uh, for 77.8 cubic yards of pile cap and the same thing applies to uh, the fine grading, stripping forms and uh, erecting forms all of those are calculated in the uh, parent assembly's unit as well. Then besides that, uh, I have also activated the percentage of the parent assembly's cost and that lets you quickly identify uh, which of the included components or assemblies uh, contribute the most to the cost of the parent. So again, uh, for this uh, pile cap, uh, I see that the um, erect erection of the foam work uh, is the largest contributor to the cost of the pile cap. Uh, the fine grade is actually the smallest contributor. Now what that lets me do as well is uh, sort my cost plan by percentage contribution to the total project cost. So when I just click the header and click that twice to uh, sort in descending order, um, I break down my project cost and let me use the navigation buttons to uh, to drill down or actually to roll up. Uh, I can see that Deschel uh, contributes 62 percent to the total project cost, super or substructure 37. Uh, so by expanding level by level uh, I can review uh, what the most expensive parts of, uh, of my project are. To review the cost division of components in assemblies, I use the column chooser to activate the cost per parent assembly unit and percentage of parent assembly cost. And that allowed me to quickly identify which of the components in the assembly are contributing most to the total cost of the assembly. And I also use the sorting of the percentage of parent assembly cost uh, to do the same thing on the project level.